Hello, another little video quick section here on uncovering the missing secrets of magnetism. I had some people uh, complain or state that maybe I am getting a centripetal and a centrifugal vortex pattern due to filming the spirals on the wall via the camcorder to the TV. But that's not the case. Before I even tested that, I was using a grid pattern, as you can see here. So, let's prove again that we will see opposite spins on the centrifugal vortex. This time we're going to use a 2 inch by 1 inch square magnet. And let's look here before we're looking in the center. You can see that I'm getting clockwise rotation on our grid and if we look closely in the center we should see a counterclockwise centrifugal centripetal excuse me and there it is there is a counterclockwise centripetal on the returning and as you can see from the grid pattern we have a clockwise centrifugal pattern so clockwise movement on the centrifugal and counterclockwise on the centripetal. This is using the grid pattern. Let's flip the magnet. And this time you'll notice we are getting a counterclockwise on the grid pattern. And we should be getting a clockwise pattern on the centripetal, which of course we are. You can see that. Let me get a, a good image. There you go. You can see the center the, uh, the clockwise pattern on the centripetal at the center. So, as you can see, counterclockwise on the centrifugal on our grid pattern display, and clockwise on the centripetal, flip the magnet, clockwise on the centrifugal, and counterclockwise on the centripetal. And right before you get full distortion from the dielectricity, it's very interesting. You get, actually on the uh, grid pattern, you get a uh, almost perfect swastika pattern on uh, the grid. Interesting. Not really. Twisting any perfect cross like this due to field compression, field distortion you should get that sort of movement geometry you can actually see it here you actually get a a clockwise and counterclockwise swastika pattern on the grid if oriented perfectly and the opposite one here is one this particular magnet is really powerful by the way but anyway as you can see here, it has nothing to do with using the spiral patterns. I am using a grid pattern here and getting the exact same results. Clockwise twist here and counterclockwise on the centripetal at the center. Counterclockwise on the centrifugal. Twisting the grid counterclockwise, therefore we must have a clockwise at the centripetal. Which, of course, we do. Thanks for watching, and that ends that little argument or premise that I was getting uh, centripetal clockwise or counterclockwise spin due to filming the, uh, filming the spirals instead of the grid pattern, but I used the grid pattern long before I ever tested the, uh, the spiral pattern. So, and once again, thanks for watching. Remember to uh, send any questions or requests about magnetism to me and uh, let me know what you're interested in learning about magnetism and I will make a, a nice little video for you. Thanks. For